Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching Frutec. This is my ATS old device OnePlus 6 which has this discolored back glass and the broken screen. But this software is up to date because of amazing developers community available for this device. Finally, we got the newest Android 15 based test build by the CRDoid. That's why I always encourage all of users, you must have the basic knowledge of flashing custom ROM and mods because most of users have low budgets and didn't want to buy the new device after 2-3 to three years. But they want the regular support of software upgrades for the latest Android versions and the security patches. So you didn't need to spend lots of money just on the gadgets. I flashed at this build via ADB side loading of both the ROMs and the JS packages. If you are using any dynamic custom ROM, then you can follow the same steps by flashing the CRDoid recovery. Once done, format data and reboot. CRDoid is an amazing, highly customizable custom ROM available for lots of OEMs. I had given the official site of CRDoid in the video description. From there, you can check if your device got this new update or not. If yes, follow the same installation steps given at the official site of CRDoid. Today in this video, we are thoroughly going to test the new Android 15 source base, essential features of the device are working or not. Which CRDoid features available in this build with the performance testing and Android 15 features available for OnePlus 6 in this ROM. All the other device users, please watch this video carefully and test your own device so you can confirm if this build is daily drivable for you or not. So without any further ado, let's get started. Once you install any new update or the custom ROM, you must check its support device details to confirm the new changes of the source base. My OnePlus 6 finally got this amazing Android 15 build by the CRDoid 11 beta build. Security patch is of latest November 2024. I remember OnePlus only provided the security patch of January 2022 when they stopped the updates for this device. Kanna version is 4.9.337 builded with the latest Clang tool chain 19. And this build is released by the latest 19 November 2024. Oh my god, I can't even believe such old device will get the latest source base even after 8 years. It's just awesome. Now let's move to the another part of the video. Does all the essential features are working or not? The answer is yes. I tested everything. You can check them in the video and confirm on your device if it's working for you or not. I had given all the testing apps in the video description by using them you can test your own device features if you are using the different device than OnePlus 6. One thing I want to mention that the most of users concerns about the security of the custom ROM. I tested the basic integrity and the CTS profile using the Ascen Accept in it and both surpassing in the build. Surprisingly, the device play protect is also certified. As per the Google's new norms, device must meet device integrity and the basic integrity for proper working of the new banking applications or the payment applications. And both are working in this build. In single word, I want to explain all the basic and essential features are available and working for OnePlus 6 and 60. All the other users, please confirm all these things for your own device. Unfortunately, as this one is a test build, stock optional scanner of OnePlus 6 had not been added by the developer side. Instead, developer added the Lineage OS Apache camera in the ROM and it's also taking very good pictures with this 8 year old device. Now let's talk about the CRDoid customizations feature. Though the ROM is in initial stage of development but the developer added almost all the customization features of this ROM in CRDoid setting. You can overview them here in the video. I will not explain them because I already reviewed this feature in old video. You can check that video from the video description.
but I especially like the three finger gesture customization to open any application or shortcut using the three finger gestures. We got the game space and all other advanced miscellaneous settings like Netflix spoofing, unlock RFS in the games like BGMI, etc. Instead of this, OnePlus extra settings are also added by the developers and they are fully functional. Like color slider customizations, Adreno GP boost slider to boost your device gaming performance, high brightness and adapt to high brightness mode like settings. USB 2.0 fast charging is available and working which will fast charge your device using the USB cable on the PC or the monitors. You can control the device earpiece sound and the vibration levels of the device using these specific sliders. We also got the fully customizable Searroid launcher in this build which offers highly customizable settings for your launcher like icons, home screen, app drawer, recent panel and miscellaneous settings. I especially like the hidden and protected application feature along with newly easily accessible taskbar. So everything seems good until now but what about the performance? Is it same like all other builds of Android 14 or 13 available for this device? Answer is yes, I did not feel any difference in between performance of this build in comparison with other ROMs. But remember if you are using the heavy applications like gaming which consumes the CPU and GPU all the time you may feel some lag or the device sitting. This needs to be fixed by the developers in upcoming builds. In the Geekbench stage, these thermal throttling were reflected with the low score of 461 and 1674 for the single and multi-core for the CPU scores. For both the OpenGL and Hukun API graphics scores are also too low. But this performance drops was negligible and not noticeable except during the heavy uses of the device. Let's check out the Android 15 features made available by the developers for this build. First one is a private space. It's available in the security and the privacy setting. First we need to set up our account for this private space applications. Once done, we get this private space at the bottom of the app drawer with the small lock icon. We can add a different application with another private Google account in this space. Some applications are added by the default in the private space like Play Store. You can unlock this private space with your own fingerprint or face unlock. In this way, you can keep and use user-specific applications in the private space in one single device. Next is a new screensaver which has new 115 easter egg screensaver. Here you can preview the screensaver by just tapping on the preview button available at the bottom of the setting. Next one is for the wallpaper and style setting. Here now you get some extra settings. While applying the wallpapers, who gets the preview of both the wallpapers and home screen. We can also adjust the size of wallpaper, who can expand it or minimize as per our need. This one is a nice addition for wallpapers and style setting. This is all about this early stage beta build for the OnePlus 6 and 60, but I didn't feel it's a beta build except some performance drop during the heavy task. Other device users, please download and install if your device got the new Android 15 build by the maintainer of your device by the Android. And please mention in the comment section does this video help you to get something amazing for your AJ device. If yes, then please do like and share this video, subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon to get the notifications of review of such universally supported custom ROM. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.